good morning. So I was supposed to get up at five and I didn't. And so now we're at like eight something. And so we already, we already didn't make the 5 a.m. goal because this video is gonna be about how to get in the swing of fit girl fall. So yeah, we already didn't make the first goal, <laughs> but it's fine. So this video is gonna be in a compilation of like a few other videos about my workouts for the week and what I eat in a day. I don't really know why I filmed this series now because literally in the middle of the week, I leave to visit my sister in San Antonio, Texas. So it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's going to be interesting to see how you can do fit girl fall in multiple states. So <laughs> I'm about to go to the gym. It's lower body day. Not, um, not excited, but am because I put these on and I was like, oh, they should have flat, whatever. And I was like, my butt's flat. And I was like, oh, but it's okay. I lift them up top. And I was like, I have these rolls. <laughs> and so I just want to jump on here and say like, do not shame your body. Your body is beautiful. And I had to tell myself that just this morning because I was like, I'm gonna sit here and look at myself long enough until I just decide to not care and to accept my roles in my flat butt for the day. Um, I don't know if that tip would help anybody, but that's literally what I just did. I was like, I'm not going to leave for the gym until I sit here and I change my thoughts and think, you know what, no, it's fine. Like, I like the way I look. And it took me like two minutes and I was like, I don't care anymore about my flat butt and my rolls. <laughs> I need to get to the gym. So that's just kind of like what I've been dealing with. There's already like a mental piece too to the whole fit girl fall thing. So it's not just physical, it's definitely also mental, especially with, you know, like the seasons changing and stuff like that. And you know, there's seasonal depression. Like it's very important to take care of your mental health and to just be in tune with those changes, especially as the weather changes. So all that to say, this will be fun and we're gonna make up for <laughs> the goal we just didn't make. So today I'm gonna do, well, this is attempting, attempting to do squats, Bulgarian split squats, um, like cable abductors, I believe. Like, nope, is that the thing? No, it's when you go like this. <laughs> so you go like this, and I have slides because I'm really not ready. <laughs> Clearly I'm not ready to go. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? The hip abductor machine, and the one that goes, that you press your thighs in. I don't know what it's called, but, and there's something else, but it's gonna be in the video. Um, so yeah, let's go to the gym. We're gonna see how my mental is when I get there. <laughs> so right now it's okay, but it could just quickly change in 10 minutes. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the car. So I made it. And why are there so many people? What? I really thought I can't, well, that's a whole lie because I didn't do the 5 a.m. thing. So that's my fault. That's what I get for not coming at 5 a.m. Now there's people here and I need to film. So I don't know why I'm sitting here complaining. Let me get off, let me get off this phone and do the workout and suffer the consequences, which is people looking at me. But you know what? Never want ever. Okay, I'm gonna go. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Hi guys. So here it's just like a daily routine of what I typically do at the gym for the lower body. So I like to start off all my workouts with stretches that, um, specifically for the body part I'm gonna work. So I'm just stretching out my hamstrings by bending over some. I like to take my time with it. And like I pull my arms back a little bit. 
um, I don't know, it just helps me get a deeper stretch. So that's a little bit there. And then you'll see me do some other stretches. Just follow along and you can take your time with this. Um, I like to take like 30 seconds and just get my body warm. just doing probably three sets of 12 reps um i start off with a light weight and then with each set i increase the weight either five or ten pounds um it's really good to um, practice progressive overload so i'm just starting off with 10 pounds and i'm gonna go do my squat and i'm going to increase the weight so you can do it depending on what your strength level is but my rule of thumb is always at least increase the weight at least five pounds on your next set but she's somebody else in the making first she just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna this forever wondering if it's gonna fail us this whenever she leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space wondering if it is forever or is there some place that will make her feel better make her feel better then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Oh
know what I want Yeah, I'm here talking to myself Like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired so for hip thrust, I typically have a booty band, but I'm pretty sure I did not bring one, um, and I was kind of pissed about it. Um, but typically, I'll use the booty band, and it just adds more resistance. And for hip thrust, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to have the base of your shoulder blades at the edge of the bench. And when you hip thrust up, you'll want to keep your head level looking in front of you. Um, throughout the whole movement. And so I use lightweight for this too. I am working on um, increasing my weight, but you wanna make sure that you do a weight that's comfortable for you. And also when you're hip thrusting, don't have your knees buckle in. You'll always wanna keep them out and keep your legs at a 90 degree angle. You'll never wanna hyper extend your hip thrust and you'll never wanna not be able to hip thrust up to kind of like a parallel like you see me doing here so keep those things in mind and here i'm doing three sets of 12 to 15. on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one So Bulgarian split squats are kind of the death of me. I kind of really hate them, but I hate and love them because they're so hard to get the form right, as you see me struggling. Um, but they're so good for your upper butt, man. They're so good. So I do three sets of 12 on each leg because that's literally all I can manage. Um, I don't even think my form is that great here. Look, I'm checking my form. <laughs> But I use 10 pound dumbbells, not dumbbells, kettlebells on each side. And I try to just go for as deep of a split squat as possible. So I do cable side kicks here for my hip and like hip dip area. I do three sets of 12 on each leg like I do for everything else. Um, here, I just try to make sure my upper body and core stays in place. You don't want to be wobbling around everywhere um, and kick that leg out. Not too high, but just comfortable enough to where you feel the contraction of your muscle. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever. Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. gym attire um i'm kind of on the couch editing so this is editing me jumping in um because i forgot to film an outro but i really appreciate you guys stopping by i hope some of my tips help that's like a typical lower body routine for me at the gym and so you know just do what you can i do what i can the number one goal is progressive overload Every time you go back to the gym and you, you know, hit your lower body again, you want to make sure that you are increasing the weight, even if you feel like it's such little weight you're increasing that it doesn't even make a difference. Any little change makes a difference. Any little, you know, improvement, your body is going to notice and it's going to react to that. So like some days I just only put two to five pounds more on everything I do. And you know, as long as you are progressing, that's the best thing you can do for yourself. So I really hope you like the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Jay's Murray Fit Fam. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.